The press has become so dishonest. Some of the media is fantastic, I have to say. The press honestly is out of control. The leaks are absolutely real. The, the news is fake. I know how good everybody's ratings are right now, but uh, ratings aren't as good as some of the other people. They're, that are they're pretty good right now. I do get good ratings, you have to admit that. I know what's good and bad. I'd be a pretty good reporter. The Where are you from? Uh, BBC. Good. Here's another beauty. Quiet, quiet, quiet. The public doesn't believe you people anymore. Because I certainly didn't win by people listening to you people, that's for sure. I inherited a mess at home and abroad. A mess. I inherited a mess. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. The rollout was perfect. There's zero chaos. We are running, this is a fine-tuned machine. Russia is fake news. I don't want to be hacked. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things. The greatest thing I could do is shoot that ship that's 30 miles offshore right out of the water. Hillary Clinton did a reset, remember, with the stupid plastic button that made us all look like a bunch of jerks? We're a very powerful nuclear country, and so are they. I've been briefed, as Howard Cosell used to say, right? Of course, he had some questions also. I can't believe I'm saying I'm a politician, but I guess that's what I am now. I'm really not a bad person, by the way. I'm not ranting and raving. I love this. I'm having a good time doing it. I, the, the public doesn't believe us anymore? <gasps> the key line was the one we played at the end where he says, I love this. I'm having a good time. He did not want that press conference to end. He felt like he was back. He'd watched other people try to defend him for a month. Kellyanne Conway, Sean Spicer, Stephen Miller. It wasn't working. He wanted to put himself out front and center, speak for himself. And if the idea was to convey that there's no chaos in the White House, I'm not quite sure it had that effect. But I will tell you, his hardcore supporters that I spoke to yesterday oh. and all of my friends, they were in front of the TV set and they were laughing. And they weren't laughing at Donald Trump. They were laughing at the media. There is no doubt about that, that his, the base of his support, whether it's 35 percent, 40 percent, they are not going anywhere. They're going to stick with him. But yesterday, the first 35 minutes of that press conference was watching a president of the United States who has lost his grip on reality. He lives in an alternate reality. He says things that, ver that are verifiably false. When he got called out on it yesterday by Peter Alexander, who we have with us, Peter will say, I mean, he'll say, well, that was just the information I was given. No, that's the information he says. He just talks and he makes up things and he repeats them until he believes them. Everybody I talked to on the Hill, including a lot of Republican senators and congressmen, were scared. Mm, less. Yes, they were, were scared to death by what they saw and more than one said, this just isn't going to last long because he just doesn't have control of reality. And I've heard the word terrifying used, and I, and I think that's basically the impact. I mean, imagine watching this in, in Berlin, imagine watching it in London, imagine watching it in Paris, imagine watching it in Peoria, you know? You, you, you realize that this is the, the man in the most important and most powerful job on Earth. Uh, and, uh, and he's just at the beginning of his term uh, and you try to try to project try to imagine where we will be after four years of this and it's just uh, it's it's almost unthinkable there's not one Republican outside his core core supporters in Capitol Hill who were anything but freaked out by that. embarrassed I'm wondering what this like the inner cadre sitting backstage or in the audience is thinking when this is happening are they excited well, do they think this sure. is great or are their head in their hand are they ringing their hands because they know there's an unraveling. They too Trump being Trump. are suspended from reality, which is why Donald Trump is suspended from reality because the people closest to him think that's just, he can lie all he wants and the people love it. When the outsider candidates get to Washington, they fail to realize just sort of a basic law of like physics. Once you get inside, you are in fact inside. You are, and, and guess who else is there? The insiders, you, can, you have to work with them. You can't continue uh, to, to, uh, to attack them at every turn and to refuse to work with them or even to refuse to understand how the place works.